Hey, what's up everyone? I'm heading down right now to show you the proving grounds. I'm embarking on a challenge, a 30 day challenge. I ran every other day for a month and this is what happened. And I'm heading down right now to the three mile river hill loop or I sometimes call it the three mile loop on the river. And there's also a four mile loop and thanks for tuning in by the way this is path to wellness so i'm going to show some shots of the river loop in a minute and again the very first run that i do run number one is going to be the three mile river loop and that's going to be the test to see after 30 days of training 15 runs what I can do the run in on day 15 in comparison to day one. Now, you can also turn the three mile river loop into a four mile river loop. It's almost the same thing, except the only difference is there's an extra mile and that extra mile is totally flat. So it essentially you can get a faster run time. So you can't really compare the two runs. You have to, I'm really just gonna see what I'm able to do with the three mile loop, which has more hills. But during the training regimen, I'll be doing a lot of the four mile loops just to get just to get the miles in and the training in. So just a little background. I've been doing this run for a couple of years now, so it's not going to be new. I'm not brand new to running, but I'm going to do this on a consistent level where I'm going, come on, Blackberry, <laughs> where I'm going to be going super hard every single run every other day for a month. So. I'm very interested to see how much of an improvement I can make on my time, given the fact that I've done this run a bunch already, but I've never trained at this consistency at this level. So it's gonna be some pretty intense runs I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be going all out pretty much every time, and I'm really excited to see what I'm able to accomplish in just 30 days. So stay tuned, because I'm gonna be showing my progress throughout the video. I'm also gonna be showing some other things like what the type of food I eat to fuel my body. And also keep in mind, since I'm gonna be running every other day, on the days I'm not running, a lot of those days I'm doing strength training as well. So kind of just mixing up my workouts, but this video is gonna be specifically about the running. And before we get started, I just wanted to take some quick shots of the river loop. Got the Deschutes River. You can probably hear it, but it's right there. This is the beginning of where I start running. There's definitely some hills involved. You can't, might be kind of hard to tell. That's my dog, Blackberry. Might be kind of hard to tell in the video, but there's hills that go up and down through the three miles. And then if you do that fourth mile, it's pretty flat. There it is, the Deschutes River. I love this run. It's only about a mile from my house. So, we're about to get started with the very first run. All right, run one complete. It was a three mile run on that hilled river trail. And my pace was 7.59. The first mile, it was a 7.46. Second mile was a 7.43. Oops. And the third mile was an 8.29. So I'll be back in a couple of days with my next run. All right, run three is complete. And this was a four mile run, but I did this one on the street, so it was pretty flat. I had a 723 pace, but again, that's because there was no hills. And there is my minutes per mile. It was a 703, a 716, 737, and a 736. So we'll see if, how that translates when I get back to doing the hills. Um, Cause that's definitely gonna be slower, but just trying to work up my pace. So I'm putting in some runs that are gonna be flat and some that are in the hills as well. So I'll be back with my day four. So here's a typical meal that I'd have. Um, let's see, it's about noon right now. And I generally eat two meals a day and I do practice intermittent fasting. So usually I'll eat around noon and then around 6 p.m. 
but it can vary. Sometimes I do a 24 hour fast. Um, so sometimes it's a longer fast, sometimes shorter, but this meal, I'm going to start off with, um, a half a cantaloupe, have that. And then I have a bowl of this, uh, Ezekiel cereal. I'm going to throw in a couple bananas and some raisins and, um, I'm going to use almond milk because I don't, I kind of stay away from dairy. So, um, I'm going to have this for my meal. And then after I'll have some celery just to kind of clean out my teeth and get some greens in. So that's a typical meal. Um, I'll, show, I'll be back with another meal in just a second. There's my bowl of celery. Probably one of the healthiest things I could eat. I do a lot of celery juice too. So I'll be back with uh, another example meal. All right, day four run complete. This was a four mile run, a 746 pace. And this was also done in the river trail hills. Um, but instead of doing the three mile, I added one more mile, which was mostly flat. And it brought my overall pace down, partly because of the fourth mile was more flat and because I'm improving. So the first mile I got down to a 722 and then the second mile was a 725. And that's where the flat part started. And then the third mile was 748 and then an 829. The third and fourth mile is back up in the hills. So overall, I'm happy with that time. And I had my best one mile pace for that first mile that I've ever had. Cause again, that's through the, through the hills. So I'm going to probably do this run for my next run as well, just to see where it's at. All right, here is the fifth run in my experiment. It was the four mile. I did the same four mile hills around the river and I brought it down to a 740. So I dropped some time off. I had another record for my first mile, which was a, seven, was a 721 on this one. So my first mile was a 721. Second mile is where it kind of flattened out more, so I got a 716. And then the third and fourth mile were back in the hills, so I got a 748 and an 817. So I've been improving, happy with that, 740 for the four miles. Um, I think my next run, uh, I'm going to probably do the, uh, another four mile run and this one's going to likely be on the streets, but we'll see in a couple of days when I do it. Okay. I just got back from run number six and I want to talk about this one a little bit. I went and I did the four mile river hill loop again, and I've done this one a few times in my last few runs. And my pace was a little bit slower this time, and I knew it would be, and I'm gonna explain why. So I ended up running a 747, which was just, I knew it was gonna be slower, it was disappointing. Um, the last time I did it, I ran a 740. So uh, there's a big drop there. Um, and the reason why is because last night I went out for my anniversary and I ate some things I don't normally eat, and then I fell a little sluggish this morning. So I wasn't quite on my game today like normal, and I want to talk about that real quick because nutrition is super, super important. So I'm going to be showing you um, some things, you know, the way I normally eat and all that. Um, but anyway, so today I slowed down a little bit on that four mile run. I'm really curious to see the next time I run it, what I can do. Because um, I know I'll be back on track. So here's how this run went. Okay, so it was the four mile um, river hill loop and I did the 747, which again, the last time I ran it, I did a 740. I did a 734, a 730, a 743, and an 820. So I was definitely feeling, feeling slower, but I did the best I could, and I'll be back soon with what I do next. Here's another example meal of how I generally eat. I have a green salad here. It has beans, berries, tomatoes, a house-made dressing, and then I have a plant-based uh, risotto type of dish. It has veggies and beans and pine nuts in it. So this is just another example of a um, typical meal. All right, I'm on run number seven, and I'm about to head out on the four-mile neighborhood loop run. So I'll see if I can better my time from last time, which was a 723 minute mile. 
So we'll see what I can do. Of course, this is faster than the River Hill Loop because that one has hills. This has almost no hills. So see if I can beat 723. I'm going to do a little bit different strategy this time. Uh, last time I just sort of went balls out and went hard right off the top. I'm going to try to pace myself a little bit because the last time I ended up ha having faster miles in the beginning and they just slowed down as the rent run went on. So maybe I'll pace myself a little bit. We'll see. But I'll try to break the 723 on this one. All right. Just finished the four mile neighborhood loop run and I got some good news. I changed my strategy a little bit and ended up getting, let's see if we can see this here. A 713 pace, so I knocked off 10 seconds. I did a, a 709, a 718, a 719, and then a 707. So, it was a little different this time. I ended up finishing with a faster time that I started. So the first time I did something like this, I paced myself in the beginning, kind of kept it steady through the middle of the run, and then the last half a mile I sprinted as fast as I can. So I ended up getting a better time on the fourth mile than the first mile, and took 10 seconds overall. That's just because I've been improving as well. So happy with that. And we'll be back soon with the next round. Threw together a smoothie here for this meal. It had bananas, berries, chia seeds, almond butter, almond milk, ca cacao powder, and green powder. So that's one of my favorites. I call it the power smoothie. All right, just got back from run number 11. Uh, runs number nine and 10, I did not record. I recorded it on my watch, but I just didn't record it by video because I was out of town and I did some runs at the beach. So those runs at the beach, I was running about 720, 730 minute mile, uh, four mile runs. But today I was back. So I did the four mile river loop again and here were my results. All right, so I ran a 739 pace. So I beat my time by one second from the last time that I did the four mile loop. And the first lap I did a 708, which 708, that was the, my best first lap I've ever had. Then I did a 715. This thing keeps. Then a 743 and an 831. So kind of burned myself out a little in the beginning, but I did have a best um, first mile time. Okay, I'll be back with the next one. Here's run. another example meal. These were sweet potato, bean, veggie, and plant-based queso tacos that we had made. They were tasted excellent. All right, I'm about to head out for run number 15, final test day, and I'm a little nervous. We'll see how it goes. So I'll be back soon with the final results. Did it. Just got back from run 15 in 30 days. And as a reminder, this was the three mile river hill run. This is a little more difficult than the four mile in the sense that there's there's more hills and less flat part. So this is the very first run that I did on day one. I ran a 7.59 on day one, and today I ran a 7.43. So I was able to knock off 16 seconds per mile, which is really significant because I've been running this for years, and it's not like I'm brand new to running or I just ran this for the first time. So the fact that it, I was just ran consistently hard for a month and I was able to knock off 16 seconds on this run was a really significant amount so I'm really happy about that so let me show you what I got here on the watch so there it is 743 pace on the three mile original test run and uh, 714 735 and 820 those were each mile that I did. So, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.